now applying the Barkhausen criteria. Barkhausen criteria says that your phase shift between the feedback and the amplifier should be zero. That is angle A beta should be zero. That is the imaginary part should be zero, which implies omega r into c minus one upon omega r into c should be zero, which says omega r into c should be one upon omega r into c, or you can say omega square is equal to one upon r square c square. So we can say omega is one upon r into c. Omega can be written as two pi f zero. So f zero can be written as one upon two pi r into c. So this is the frequency of oscillation for Wien-Bridge oscillator. The second condition says that the real part should be we should consider the real part. That is v two upon v one should be one upon three. That is the real part, which is three. We are considering over here. So we can say if beta is one upon three, a into beta if you want one, can say if a into beta if you want greater than or equal to one, then a should be equivalent to one upon beta. That is one upon three. Ka inverse, right? So since beta is one upon three, so one upon beta will be three. So your value of a should be. Three. So rather than you can write it as one upon one upon three. So your a should be three. This is how we have derived the relation for frequency of oscillation. We have applied two criteria, criteria one and criteria two for conditions of oscillations under Barkhausen. Now coming to the drawback, or we can say why we are not using RC phase shift oscillator for high frequency. First point we can say we are again using the Barkhausen criteria. First point RC oscillators are used for low frequency applications as you know as frequency increases value of capacitance is comparable to the parasitic capacitance. So what will happen because of this the effective capacitance will change you can say increase or decrease or we can say effective capacitance will change right so that will cause frequency instability now second point at you can say high frequency the phase shift given by amplifier is not equal to 180 degree you can say common emitter amplifier will not give 180 degree phase shift so what it implies your phase shift angle a beta is not equal to 0 degree or 360 degree that means we are not satisfying the conditions for oscillation condition for oscillation is not satisfied so what you will not get you will not get sustained oscillations because of these drawbacks for rc phase shift oscillator if they are operated at high frequency hence what we can say hence rc oscillators are not used at higher frequencies now these drawbacks are removed by LC oscillators. So we are going for LC oscillators which are used for high frequency. Thank you for watching in 5 minutes.